it's when you're a part of it, it's hard to reflect. Like as you move to the next game, I think that's probably the you know toughest piece you know that you have there that you can't at the actual time like celebrate when it happens because you're you know you're not playing when it happens. It's a little bit different, especially after you lose a game. Cause, you, know, you have that feeling, and then the next day you find out you share at least uh, a piece of it. And um, but no, our, we've uh, we've had a good season to point. Like we're obviously in a, in a, in a tough stretch right here and that almost everybody goes through. And now you got to be able to find your way out of it. And you know we're more focused on that than anything. Wisconsin fighting for its NCAA tournament. Right. So I'm sure you know it's a tough game anyway. But now you know you're going to get a great shot from them. Um, they got a chance to, to get a big win on their schedule. Yeah, very similar to the last year. You know our record was um, identical going into that game as it is right now. You know, last year, and obviously they were, and we were, you know, trying to win a Big Ten championship. So everything was really close, and they bank in two shots in the last minute of the game, which was pretty unlucky for us and pretty lucky for them. But um, that's what happens when you get into close games. You know, things can go for you and things can go against you. Um, but no, they're um, the thing that happens is like you always say, you're going to get everybody's best shot. Well, they should get our best shot too. And that's really been the kind of the focus of what we've talked to our guys about is like, you know, we got to, it's not that we're not playing hard. You know, we just got to find a, to play a little bit harder and really dive into that piece of it, dive into the defense, dive into the rebounding. Because what people want you to think is like, well, like, you know, you just didn't make shots, which is true, but no one's trying to miss a shot. Like, you know what I mean? Like worry about the things that you can control in those, th those areas, you can control those areas. So just try to be as, you know, at a top level in terms of defending and rebounding and then taking care of the basketball. Even though we didn't have a lot of turnovers the last game, you know, that's something that's going to be, you know, so important for us. When you take shooting out of the equation, how do you feel about your team is playing about the rebounding yeah. and the turnovers and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, well, you out-rebound yeah, somebody by 16, you know, in the game, you're going to take that. You get 21 more free throws and someone you're going to take that. The shots that we got, you know, I like the shots that we got. The shots that we gave up against Indiana, I like those too. And so, like, um, you know, analytically, it makes a lot of sense to get people into contested long twos outside the paint. And that's what we were able to do. You know, he just was really good in the game against Indiana and made a lot of tough shots, especially, you know, the way, um, you know, Trace Jackson Davis wasn't a big part of the game. You know, so there's a lot of positives to come from that. But um, you collectively have to win the game, and we didn't. So like that, I think that's the the piece of it. But the, our guys need to hear, you know, the things that we did do well because you want to continue down that path. You can't be singular in thought going into a game. It's ah, oh, if we just make shots, we're going to be okay. That's not the way it works. You know, you gotta, you know, still you still got to get to the free throw line a lot because that's what you want to make more free throws. You know, you still have to generate good shots. But you know, defense travels and rebounds. You know, rebounding travels, and that's you know, you want those things to be. You know, you know, right there for you. But during the stretch, you feel like you, those are areas that you've um, done well for the most part. Well, those three games in a row, we turned it over a lot. Like that was our Achilles in that stretch there. So if like kind of looking at, we've lost four out of six. Is that correct? Like if you just go to that six-game stretch, like those three games jump out to me in terms of our volume of turnovers. So that's. It's better in the next game, and it's better versus a team that pressures too, Indiana pressures. So I thought that was something that was a positive also. Taking on uh, Wisconsin and Illinois this late mm -hmm. into the season, haven't played them before. Right. Is anything different about scouting when they have that much tape on them? Not really, just because, you know, we're all just kind of coming off. Um, you know, both teams right here are coming off a tough loss. You know, Wisconsin, you know, you know, thought they had that game at Michigan, and obviously Hunter makes a tough three at the buzzer, and that game goes into overtime, and they lose. So you're both coming off a loss. Um, you're, you're both for different reasons. You know, we're trying to win an outright Big Ten championship. They're trying to get in the NCAA, championship, NCAA tournament. Um, we're trying to secure a number one seed in the NCAA tournament also. I think that's a, um, a big thing for us. If we could be able to pull that off, that would be great because you, you, know, you want to put yourself in the best possible position. It doesn't guarantee anything, but you just want to keep improving as a program and keep getting yourself in those spots to try to give your, yourself the best chance to keep advancing. So, but no, I, it's, there's a lot at stake here. You know, you know, outright Big Ten championship, NCAA tournament, um, seeding, 
you know, for the Big Ten tournament, seeding for the NCAA tournament. So I, you, know, you would think that both teams will, you know, be ready to roll.